Hey, what's up, you guys? This is my review of the Umorex USP, licensed by HNK, which is a German manufacturer of guns. They make pretty high quality guns. But Umorex made this gun. This is the airsoft version. Like I said before, it is licensed by HNK, as you can see. It says right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. I think I've already done that one, sorry. And right here. This is a pretty good gun. For starter, this is a CO2. Um, you know, pretty nice iron sights. And let me try and get them. See three dots. The magazine is ambi release is ambidextrous. You press down on that thing. The same on that side. The magazine comes out. Uh, this is a non blowback, but the hammer does come back like that whenever you shoot it. This is a semi automatic only gun. The only two modes are safe and semi. This is made out of polymer with the exception of a metal barrel and a plastic orange tip. This rail right here is for attachments, like for a mag a grip maybe. I'm not and a like the laser you'll see most on most USPs. This cannot fit a suppressor, I don't think. Yeah, as you can tell, you cannot fit a suppressor in it. The magazine holds 15, no, 16 rounds. You know, pretty nice. Uh, CO2, here's what it comes with. Allen wrench, you're gonna need this. Some, I'll get back to you with the Allen wrench. Something about an advertisement for the Heckler and Cock, um, Airsoft MP7 and then some stuff on the back of the advertisement. Um, do not return to the store warning card, whatever. Uh, Umorex USA Airsoft Gun Registration. Boom. And probably what you're going to need if something happens, a instruction kit. Starts out like that, you know, H and K, no compromise. Uh, opens up to pretty big size. Let's see. Now, here is a used CO2 cartridge. It takes 12 gram CO2 capsules. So the way you put this in, see that little hole right there? You stick your Allen wrench in, you s unscrew it uh, counterclockwise to open up this little hatch once I get it opened. This is what you're unscrewing. Stick your magazine in, uh, your capsule, screw it back in. You should hear it fill up into the magazine. Make sure it's all nice and tight. Put your BBs in. Load it that way. It doesn't have any like little side hatch so where you can lock it into place. So you need to put the BBs in. Boom. There you go. Uh, I use the TSD .2 gram BBs for this. It works pretty good. But on some occasions... I will use the Crossman Ultra Heavy 25 gram BBs. Hurts. It comes with a 25, uh, no, sample pack of BBs, which I will show you what to do with them. Sample pack of BBs. Trash. Before I shoot it, I just want to let you know what it looks like next to my D Boy scar. Let's see? Pretty nice. It can fit into my. Holster over there. I mean, this 
is overall a pretty nice gun. I mean, like, it feels great in my hand. I mean, like, I could... You don't really even need, need to aim down the sides with it. You can just point and shoot it. Boom. You'll know... You'll know you hit your target. Because... I'm glad I haven't been shot by it, but I have shot some people with it. Yeah. So, let me go shoot it. Sweet. Alright, I'm going to make this really short and sweet. I'm only, and it's not going to be really to turn out that way since I'm, I can only record with one hand. My cameraman is kind of, you know, watching TV, being a little bit lazy. So, let me just try and sit you guys down. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but, okay, ah, gosh, I'm going to put, you... alright, so, you'll hear it fill up, I'm not sure if you heard that pop, but, yeah. All right, sorry about this. All right, I'm gonna put you in a first person, sis. First person. All right. <clears throat> so, off safety. Boom! Headshot. Yeah, that didn't really do any, dam da do any damage. <laughs> I really got worried there. See, this is what happens to your target if you shoot it with overpowered BBs. See, I'll shoot it right here. It's breaking it. Yeah, it's out. So, there is my review of the... Umarex USP. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.